working on what I think will be a little bit of an upgrade for my Chinese mini skid steer, the AGD 460 that I have on the uh, upper mount of the uh, bucket ram. Uh, one of the other persons on, uh, on YouTube put a video together where they showed that the uh, those top ears separated uh, under some heavy loads. They they splayed splayed apart. Using the right words, I think here, um, and ripped loose some of the the welds. And so they had to restructure, rebuild the whole thing. And so stock these have a pin that just goes through and has like a egg shaped part on the end with the little bolt that locates it, just holds it in place, and it just goes through the ears and the ram so the other side is not really captured it's it's not compressing the ears in so my thoughts were to try and find a greasable bolt style pin to replace that with and I couldn't get one of the exact measurements it's roughly about maybe a half an inch close to half an inch too long so like a quarter inch on each end if I'm gonna use some washers spacers whatever here I'll have to figure out what works it's not gonna be pretty per se but it should be functional uh, I don't really care for the needle type zerk fittings and that's what comes in this so I switched it out to 10 millimeter with the the nipple on the end here using 11 millimeter socket to uh, remove the old one install the new one so I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on swapping out that pin in the front of that and see how it turns out. And I will continue with the video here to finish that off. But all this comes from Mini Digger Supplies. And uh, I'll have the their contact, their address and everything on the video through a still photo. So for now, I will go get this mounted and see how it's working out. And I'll finish the video. Okay, I'm back. Quick little interruption video in the middle of the one for the mini skid steer. And I'm showing you these pins from Mini Digger Supplies. And so these pins here have the hex head. And a lot of people seem to have the mini excavators that also have the mini skid steers. So I figured I'd include this. Now, standard, a lot of them come with the flat sided bolt heads pin heads and then accessory wise they come with hex heads uh, i only have the flat side pins that came in here so what i did is i made some little pvc spacers so that i could run the bolt through tighten the nut up on it and because it doesn't need to squeeze it together per se it just needs to hold some pressure so that doesn't splay but also let it pivot not be too tight and so that's why I ended up working out because the, the bolts were a little long, which, uh, let's see these here. Look like the, by the time you countersink the head in there, it'll be close. You may have to run a washer on the other side. I'm not really sure, but it'll be nice to buy pins, these bolt-on type, for this one and for my tilt bucket and leave them in place. And then that way I can buy the uh, quick attach for the uh, excavator. So I can just hook into the pins and lift it up and run in the second counter hook part on there. Uh, but I just figured I'd include this. They do also sell the flat side ones. I saw them on their website. So if you need that style, they have them there. And it's definitely handy to have extras, you know, save you some downtime. If something you lost something, broke something, cross-threaded something, have these other attachments and want to do a quick attach, I think it's worth getting... Uh, few more of these I'm going to I hope to put a quick attach on in the future I do know that uh, it kind of extends everything down so I'm not sure I just converted to a hydraulic thumb so I'm not really sure the length of that thumb is going to work out right once that little spacer portion of quick attach is in there uh, right now it's good for for fitting to this uh, not so good with my tilt bucket because the tilt bucket has the tilt mechanism which is almost like the uh, quick disconnect part has some space to it if I do the quick connect with that it'll compound it and then the thumb will really be 
almost useless with the tilt bucket, but it's not really uh, designed to be used for that. I mean, intended. My, my intentions are to use the one with the teeth, really, if I'm grabbing something, not the smooth finishing tilt bucket. So I just figured I'd throw this in in between, and then I'll go finish on the mini skid steer back shortly. Right, before I start disassembly on this to replace that ram pin, I figured I'd show everybody what I'm working with here. Assume it's pretty much the same as most of them out there. Uh, if you eyeball this here, kind of hard with the camera, it's right at about four and a quarter um, wide ear to ear on the outside. And uh, there's there's space on, you know, that ram can kind of float around. The intention is not to pull these two ears together. It's just to set up the tension where it's sitting right now to keep them from spreading apart. Currently, the pin just goes in and has that capturing it. But the other side is just floating there. So that ear could just separate off of there. It could push to the side. Now, it is gusseted pretty good. But like I said on the other one, somehow that person's uh, separated, ripped loose some welds down here. They had to put more bracing across, uh, etc. They put a little brace across here um, at the top, but they had to keep it kind of small because their zerk fitting to grease it was right there in the way. Um, mine's turned around this other direction, so it wouldn't interfere with, with mine to put some kind of brace up the back side of this. I think just that bolt will, uh, bolt style pin will really help. So I'll get to changing that out. I don't have a tripod or anything to set this on. Um, I mean, you really don't need to see how to take a bolt out and put another Pin in, I don't think. I'll just show you kind of the before and after and the parts and let you decide if it's worth your while to do on yours. Just hoping anything I do here helps people, and I'm always glad to answer questions. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, continue here shortly. Before installing this new bolt style pin, you know, I had swapped out the circ fitting. I went ahead and Pumped grease in that to make sure it was uh, functional, clear, came out the little port, and then I'll smear that on there before I run it through the ram. That way it's already pre-greased, and I know it's going to function. Usually I think of these things after the fact, but I think I finally uh, did something right ahead of the curve. We'll see how it all works out shortly. Well, so much for being ahead of the curve and figuring things out. Shame on me. I just assumed that pin was a one-inch one, a stock pin. It's obviously not. Well, it's a good thing these will work on the mini excavator. I'll have to figure out, I'll have to mic that and see what uh, size that is and see if I can get a similar bolt-style pin, greasable one, that will fit. So, maybe I can finagle the tape measure enough here with one hand while I hold the phone with the other. Get an approximate on this. So, what are we at here? About an, I don't have to figure out the metric equivalent, but it looks like about an inch and an eighth, maybe a little bit more, maybe, what is that? Three sixteenths? Maybe not quite, so it's going to be metric, no doubt, so I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to convert that and see, find out if something's available. In the meantime, I guess I get back in the machine. Stick her back in there and bolt her in. It's not like this is down because of it. I'll have to uh, figure that out and see if I can retro that with a different pin. And I don't know if I'll post this video or if I will, uh, yeah, I guess I will just so people know um, maybe a little bit more. Maybe they can hunt one down. Maybe they know of one that'll fit, that they've tried. Uh, in case I don't have any luck finding one, they can uh, comment and let me know where to find one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.